Hello, it's Adil Fazal, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European uh, markets this morning, the uh, 4th of January 2015. Okay, interesting scenario this morning with regards to Chinese circuit breakers being triggered overnight, a uh, mini financial tsunami, probably the best way of explaining it, obviously has caused an en masse sell off. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Alternatively, you can visit the educational site, www.cfds.education, to learn more. Okay, uh, in terms of the markets themselves or indices, you can see that the uh, the Nikkei down 3%. The Shanghai has been absolutely butchered uh, overnight. Uh, again, it's one hell of a sell-off. Let's just bring up the chart of Nikkei or, and uh, try and show you and explain to you exactly what's happened here. The Nikkei obviously has hit or slammed into gap fill uh, and is into gap fill support. So that's certainly something to uh, uh, consider here uh, as a potential support for the Nikkei in order to move higher. Ever since we closed that gap above, it's been um, nowhere but down. And certainly uh, ever since Mr. B the uh, BOJ uh, signal no additional easing, it certainly has been a risk off scenario. So. Let's try and uh, decipher exactly what's happening here now. Now the uh, Shanghai, again, uh, as you can see here, almost one hell of a, a bearish candle broke out this uh, key diagonal trend line support after that double top and uh, certainly doesn't bode well uh, for the Chinese markets. Now, uh, how much of that has been factored in now into European markets and uh, how do we interpret that? That's the question that I think everybody wants to uh, wants the answer to. So let's try and solve that. OK, now. First of all, the uh, the Shanghai certainly is into support, and the Nikkei is certainly into support as well, and therefore that would then well, one would presume from there that uh, the uh, European market should now potentially be into support, given the fact that they've gapped down so substantially. Okay, so in terms of fundamentals, first of all, this morning, uh, the question that we need to ask ourselves is what is the fundamental catalyst that can negate the, the bearish, uh, obviously bearish sentiment, and that certainly has been answered with the. Uh, Spanish PMI, uh, you have uh, French PMI, Italian PMI, German PMI, European PMI, all coming out better than expected. The only uh, bearish news has been from the UK, and that certainly has been negative in terms of its PMI, in terms of its construction PMI, if I can remember correctly, and that certainly came in at 51.9 below expectation. So therefore, uh, my understanding is the fact that, uh, that though the bullish news from Europe will be enough to avert the sell-off, okay, and should trigger a short squeeze higher after the uh, the sell-off has been overdone. Bringing up a chart of the European uh, Euro stocks first of all. Okay, you can see this diagonal trend line, key diagonal trend line connected to the pivot lows, and you can see that we are slamming to that uh, potential support zone. Yes, we do have an unfilled gap at 3090, and that certainly is a is vulnerable to being closed. But given the fact that the euro now is holding that resistance zone, if I bring up the chart of the euro USD, you can see the euro certainly has held resistance, and therefore that should help the QE trade. So you can see the resistance of pivot high at 1.0940. We've had a bearish engulfing candle since then, and therefore that's obviously bearish for the uh, the euro and obviously bullish for European equities. Okay. Now going back to the euro stocks, diagonal trend line support. So therefore you are looking at potential uh, reversal there. You've had the bottoming tail on the 60 minutes, and therefore again we're expecting a, a reversal. Looking at the German DAX now, uh, German DAX certainly is in no man's land for now. You did have. Uh, this potential pivot low here, uh, which hasn't held, uh, it should be interesting to see whether or not you can close on the daily, putting a potential bottoming tail here. Uh, 60 minute chart, again, we did have support at the 10400 level. The market certainly has been vulnerable. There is an unfilled gap below at 10140, so one needs to remain cautious and uh, certainly needs to be very careful in terms of trading the German DAX at its current juncture. Looking at the actual um, French CAC now, French CAC 40, bring up a daily chart first of all, look at it from a bird's eye view. And you can see that that gap there at uh, 10 or 5, 5 4, 4, was it 4, 4, if I can just recommend, yeah, 4, 4, 70. And you have a further gap below at 4, 4, 50, 4, 4, 60. Certainly is vulnerable. We've broken out the symmetrical wedge. I did expect that gap uh, to hold and obviously could trigger a rally, uh, given the fact that the euro obviously was below the sub 1.09 level and therefore helping the QE trade. Now, Chinese circuit break has been triggered. You have concerns with regards to uh, the Iran versus Saudi tension. Now, with the latest news is that Bahrain has certainly severed ties with uh, Iran as well. So the situation certainly is 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 
is magnifying and, and compounding and it certainly is creating this risk aversion in the markets and as you can see here crude oil certainly is help being helped um, and uh, certainly being moved higher gold is certainly catching a bid and therefore a general risk aversion uh, in the markets okay now from my perspective like i said a lot of that is factored in now uh, and is baked into the cake especially from the european equities perspective okay so looking at the FTSE 100 as well let's have a look glance at the FTSE Obviously, weaker Chinese data certainly did help over the weekend and uh, obviously has uh, triggered a uh, on mass sell-off on the FTSE. Now, the FTSE on the daily chart, there is support in this region here at the uh, 6,100 level down to the uh, 6,080 zone. So this zone itself on the daily chart certainly is support. 60-minute chart on the FTSE, we had support at the uh, uh, 6,115 level. Obviously, that's been um, um, certainly, uh, uh, what shall we say, um, vulnerable and uh, been jeopardized okay and you are looking at 6080 as potential the next support zone for the FTSE 100 now all this this whole rally on light volume going pre-Christmas is just has been negated totally and shows you that this was built on sand nothing but light volume float ups there was no pullbacks at all no healthy pullbacks bringing in fresh money etc so it certainly was a, um, a, a house built on sand which obviously has has been negated so Again, the markets are looking at support at 6115 to 6080. Okay, on the FTSE, if that fails, the next support is at 6035 and uh, 60010, respectively. Okay, in terms of the uh, actual uh, supporting indices, let's just look, bring up the SP 500. Given the fact that the SP 500 now is uh, being caught at 2010. Uh, on the uh, on the actual futures market now 2010 as we all know is back into that support zone below and uh, that's where the markets obviously eventually bounce pre-christmas for this rally up to 2080 now we're back into that support zone at 2005 and 2010 should be very interesting given the fact that we are we do have support at 2020 as well okay interesting scenario so that whole pre-christmas rally was nothing but a false move which really has contributed to this one day sell off now if this pre christmas rally had uh, a solid base and was based on organic fundamentals and an organic strength with buyers and sellers then this one day sell off would not have of course such a massive um shall we say avalanche okay uh, and given the fact that, that hasn't been the case and the market certainly are manipulated to a large extent pre christmas obviously wanting everybody out there shopping etc etc that hasn't been the case okay so again that's going to be interesting especially from a FTSE 100 perspective that should be very interesting now the FTSE should generally be uh, enjoying a, a bullish move given the fact that uh, oil prices are higher but that certainly isn't the case today because weaker Chinese data and geopolitical concerns are certainly taking center stage okay now in terms of the Europe 350 let's bring up the chart Europe 350 yes we do have potential support in the Europe 350 one of the reasons why I'm actually long the euro stocks okay uh, looking at the uh, actual uh, 600 uh, euro stock 600 as well again uh, looking at the we are putting in a potential double bottom here but the daily chart is showing you potential support as well so again these are two indices that i'm looking at and uh, they are showing me support and therefore is considered to be bullish for the uh, the actual market overall okay right i think that's a market wrap folks looking at uh, the uh, stronger european data to put a uh, a uh, stem the tide in terms of selling and to trigger a short squeeze and force the markets to move higher that's basically the summation especially given the fact that we are now trading at 2008 on the s p and that is obviously uh, the key level of support on the daily chart the nasdaq is trading at 4500 okay and going looking at your daily chart even a 60 minute chart of the nasdaq we know that uh, 4500 we're now back into this zone here so this is 4515 and 4502 is double bottom support so you are looking at a move higher okay folks that's uh, i'll say wrap and uh, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and look for a potential short squeeze to uh, ensue very shortly goodbye now